This problem gives us three point charges held fixed to a line. So I'll draw the line here and call it the x-axis, and then label it from the origin out to a distance of 5 centimeters. Charge Q1 is fixed at a position of 2 centimeters. Charge Q2 is at 4 centimeters, and its charge is negative 3 nanocoulombs. Because it's negative, I'll draw it in blue. And charge Q3 is at the origin with a charge of positive 5 nanocoulombs. Because it's positive, I'll draw it in orange. And we're asked to find Q1 if the net force on Q3 is 0. The forces that these charges exert on each other will be the Coulomb force, given by this expression. It's proportional to the product of the charges, and inversely proportional to the square of the distance between them, and its direction is along the line joining the two charges. The force is attractive if the charges have opposite signs, and repulsive if they have the same sign. The net force on charge 3 is the force exerted by charge 1, plus the force exerted by charge 2. Charges 2 and 3 have opposite signs, so we know that force is attractive. It's directed from charge 3 toward charge 2. If the net force is to be 0, the force exerted by 1 on 3 must be in the opposite direction and have the same magnitude. That tells us that charges 3 and 1 have the same sign. Because 3 is positive, 1 must also be positive. So now we know the sign of charge 1. We can find its magnitude by substituting the Coulomb force into each of these expressions. The force exerted by charge 1 on 3 is in the negative direction, and it's proportional to the product of the charges. Here I'm using magnitudes because we already know the direction, so I want everything else in this expression to be positive. We divide by the distance between those two charges squared, and it's in the negative x-hat direction. Charge 2 exerts this force on charge 3. It's proportional to the product of the charges, divided by the distance squared, and it's in the x-hat direction. We can factor out the common terms of k and the magnitude of q3. This whole expression equals 0, which means that the term in parentheses must equal 0. Setting that equal to 0 lets us solve for the magnitude of q1. It equals the square of the ratio of the distances times the magnitude of q2. If we substitute those distances, we see this factor is 1 quarter, which tells us that the magnitude of q1 is 0.750 nanocoulombs, and we know from above that its sign is positive.